JB and welcome to Photo Critic TV, episode number seven. Welcome, welcome all. For those of you that don't know, go to www.photocritictv.com, click on click to submit. We'll look at your photographs online, on camera, week by week as we go along. If you want to have a look at my portfolio, just go to www.djbworldphotography.com and you can check out my work there. Let's get on with it, episode number seven. First up, Bernard Osman. Bernard. All right, let's have a look. Bernard sent through three photographs. Uh, Bernard's from Melbourne. Excellent. Uh, the first one here is the Shelter Roofs Chinese Session, Springvale Botanical Cemetery. What I would have actually done is removed all of the other rooftops from the frame here, only because they're not each of you, there's not enough of them and they're not exactly identical. So let's say you had about four or five of these rooftops in frame and they all look the same, then that could become your subject. But in this case, you've only got one or two. The second one's in the distance. There's a third one back there which looks slightly different. It makes the photograph a little bit busy and a little bit distracting. Think about simplification. Simple photographs are always the best. You've got to give the, the, the viewer something to lock onto so that the subject is easily identifiable. And it is in this case, but there are some distractions around. So I would have just walked around to find a different angle, eliminate the distractions. The lighting is nice. Looks like you've got some filtered light here coming through the clouds, which is good. There's no harsh white light, no nasty shadows. Excellent. Work a little bit on the composition. So simplify and find a different angle there just to improve this photograph. The next one here, Bernard, is, let me just read, Beach Boxes, Dramana. So Dramana is a a beach area here in just outside of Melbourne. Bernard, so this photograph, this family of people, the five people here, are they with you? Are they are they um, your subjects or were you just trying to capture the the bathing boxes at, at Dramana there? The other thing is the lighting. It looks like this time of day is around noon or early afternoon and the light is very white and very harsh. So this photograph, you could have improved it a little bit if you'd um, perhaps just gone there early in the morning or later in the afternoon where you've got some nice golden light coming down as the sun sets. Bernard, your third photograph, let's just read what you've written about this. Cactus, taken at Garden World in Keysborough. Aaron, OTB on photograph three. Let's get into it. Aaron, off the bat, beyond the frame. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Orange makes me happy. There you go, Bernard. That's a happy photograph. Actually, Aaron, <laughs> I, I, um, I, I agree with you there. That's that's true. It's a, it is a nice color. It's a happy color. Okay. So Aaron's saying he basically he likes the colors. I would have moved back a little bit more, zoomed out or moved back, just so I can see more of the environment. I think it needs a little bit more space around the subject. It just feels like it's a bit too tightly cropped. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not too sure. If, if you, I think you can go to two extremes. So you're kind of in the middle here. I would have either zoomed right in and just taken a, pho a photograph only of the cactus and only of the orange or zoomed out a bit more so we can see a lot of the green environment and see how that orange cactus fits in with it. Maybe that would have looked a little bit nicer. That's just me. Um, but apart from that, very nice. It's kind of like a, uh, a bit of a macro shot. There's a lot of detail here. There's some really nice patterns going on with the cactus. Low depth of field, which is nice. There's a bit of, uh, a, bit of a creamy background going on. So thanks for that, Bernard. Next up is Sasha Layton. Sasha, shooting with a, what's she shooting with? I just saw it, oh here we go, Nikon D40. Sasha's got two lenses, 18 to 55 and a 55 to 200 mil lens. These two are the kit lenses that you get with a few different Nikon bodies. Uh, it's a standard, the standard two kit lenses to give you that all encompassing range from 18 right up to 200. Let's go to the first one, espresso on a, mar on a martini. <laughs> What am I thinking about espresso martinis? Espresso on a mountain. So, Sasha, this is this is quite a nice photograph. The things I like are definitely 
The composition is nice, as in, I like the way you're using the lines to lead the viewer's eye into the photograph and into the subject. The subject being in the centre of the image works well in this case. So, not a bad effort. Let's go to the next one. Uh, the next one... Taking the fifth plus 200 with a flash. Okay, I was going to say that, actually. This is... I'll tell you what I love about this photograph. It's a happy photograph. There's a nice family vibe going on here. Everybody looks happy. The subjects don't really look too nervous or shy. Maybe the boy looks a little bit shy, but what, and the composition is nice. So you, the placement, you've got the eyes roughly on the top third line, which is good. The placement of the boy and girl are on the left third line, which is fine. The horizon in the background is good. It's just above the third line, which is fine as well. The only thing is I can ever so slightly tell that you've used a flash here. So the light looks slightly unnatural. And I actually don't think you needed to use a flash at all here. I'm not sure what time of day it was, but it looks like there was plenty of ambient light and you could have used only ambient light here to make the photograph look a little bit more, ma more natural. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. But the expression's nice, the composition's nice, the placement. Another thing I'm just seeing right now, I would have definitely tried to use a lower depth of field here because the background is still quite in focus. When we're taking photographs of people and portrait, portraiture type of shots like this, we want to almost extract the subject from the background as much as possible and we do that using a low depth of field. So, yeah, that's, no, that's all I can think of for that one. Let's go to the last one from Sasha. This one is, this is a really cute photograph. I don't, no, this one you, I can't tell as easily if you've used a flash here. I probably, you said you have, so I, I guess you have. <laughs> but um, I can't really tell, so that's fine. Um, if you're just using the flash to fill in as a bit of fill light so that you don't have any shadows and that's cool. I don't know what the environment, it doesn't, I don't really know where the sun was at this point. So in this case, you've used the flash well because I can't tell you've used it. The light looks natural, the expression's nice, the composition, the composition is nice. There is a lot, the background is quite blown out, it's very white, but it's, at least it's not distracting, so it's not taking away from the subject. So thank you very much for that, Sasha. Let's go to the last entry from Pamela. Pamela, what is Canon 50D? Pamela's using Canon 50D, wide angle, 10, 10 to 20, 10 to 22? Maybe 10 to 20. I don't know if it is 10 to 22, it doesn't matter. Uh, Pam, first thing is, all of these photographs are really beautiful. I don't even know which one I like more. The first one is from the Shrine in Melbourne. Very nicely captured. The composition is nice. The moment is nice. You've caught the flame here at the right point in time. It, maybe it looks as though you've you had a tripod here and you were you had a bit of a long exposure going on. I can't think of anything bad to say about this photograph, Pam, other than the fact that I wish I took it <laughs> because I've been here a lot. That's a really nice photograph, beautiful perspective, nice shot. Next one, of the MCG. Pam, again, I can't think of anything bad to say about this photograph. The lighting looks really cool. You've got that nice kind of morning mist. If anything, play with the white balance, maybe warm it up a little bit. It does look a little bit cool. That's about it, I think, for that one. The next one, Pam, where is this one? Lake Tulia Rook at dusk. And this one, again, very nice photograph. Very simple. I feel like this place is very tranquil, very tranquil, very tranquil, very quiet, and you've captured that well. The composition is perfect. You've got the horizon not in the center. You've got the horizon on the lower third. Great. You've got a little pier coming in from the left which draws the viewer's eye into it. 
I, the only thing I could I'd maybe say is that little lump in the middle there, that's slightly off centre, that's a little bit distracting. So, maybe, I don't know how you would have, because it's not like you can move that mountain, but that's the only thing I can think of, Pam, but thank you very much, they're three very beautiful photographs, I think I'm going to have to put all three of them up on the website, because they're very beautiful. Thanks, Pam. And that is it for episode number seven. I shall see you next time.